Hey there, my name's Nichelle, not Michelle, Nichelle with an N. And this train wreck you're about to witness is what I like to call my life. But before we dive into where I am now, let's rewind a bit and look at where it all started. Okay, okay, all right, we didn't need to go that far back. Okay, here, stop. 2011, I uploaded my first YouTube video. You'll never find any of my old content though because they're all private now. 2013, I graduated high school and went straight to university, but dropped out two years later to pursue a career in music. And you can imagine just how ecstatic both of my Asian immigrant parents were when they found out that their golden child physics major daughter wanted to go into arts and entertainment instead. Spoiler alert, they weren't too happy about it. Even though my parents saw me as a failure, I still had my friends, right? Wrong. Because my former roommate slash best friends blackmailed me and wouldn't sign me off of the lease. But that's a story for another time. 2015, after I dropped out, I started working at an Amazon warehouse. And it sucked. <laughs> You're on your feet for 40 to sometimes 60 hours a week non-stop for minimum wage and okay benefits. I spent the next two to three years starting and stopping different YouTube channels, not really knowing what I wanted to do with my life, and I felt like dropping out to pursue music was a total bust. Because it was. But in 2017, I started learning Photoshop and that's when things started to change. I started gaining traction on Instagram, started learning more about social media marketing, and at the end of 2018, I quit my job at Amazon to pursue freelancing full time. I refuse to work at a warehouse again. 2019, I started working at a digital marketing agency, and in 2020, I ended up leaving that agency because I was tired of being fucking gaslit all the time. As for the rest of 2020, we all know the shit show it became. Even though a lot of really terrible things happened in my life last year, a lot of good happened too. I ended up getting hired not at one, but two freakishly huge companies. One of them being an advertising company based in LA, and the other being for Gary Vaynerchuk's wine company, Empathy Wines. Hey everybody, it's Gary Vaynerchuk, co-founder of uh, Empathy Wines. Funny enough, this isn't my first interaction with Gary Vee, but again, that's a story for another time. So fast forward to today, I actually quit the Gary Vee job. I ended up quitting. I have a lot of wine. Story for another time. Kept the advertising job, and now I'm just this small zoomer working in corporate America having a quarter-life crisis. So what was the point of me telling you all of this? Honestly, I have no f***ing idea. And that's essentially what this channel is going to be about now. I'm gonna try to figure my life out and bring you all with me on this journey. You can learn from my mistakes, laugh at my stupid decisions, cry when I cry, or laugh at the fact that I'm crying. If that's what you're into, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can watch this roller coaster of a life unfold in real time. Kind of. Not, not really, but you get the idea.